So today we're installing the motor mount on the Fiesta. I got the Whoosh uh, Street Spec motor mount that I want to put on the daily. To be honest with you, I'm not sure if this is going to fix it, but when I'm driving the car, I do hear a lot of movement in the engine bay. Um, shearing, I guess, is, is a better way to explain it, or grinding, but when you're shifting gears from first to second to third, um, there's a lot of uh, sounds that it's making. Um, a lot of people are saying it's the passenger motor mount, but some people are saying that it's the the rear motor mount, but uh, this was cheaper and it was on sale on Black Friday, so I figured might as well do this, see if it fixes it. If it's the other one, then I don't know. Uh, I'll get a, an OEM one, um, a stock replacement that someone else had just to go cheaper. It's a daily car, so I don't really want to go crazy with, with building it to spec, but um, if there's a good deal out there, then I'll just upgrade the passenger side motor mount. But yeah, I'll work on the Fiesta again today. car's jacked up um honestly it's my first time jacking this car up so i'm not really sure what's underneath the car so we're laying together here um i thought i needed to take these piece off to jack up the car but i don't need to time to get under the car install this thing okay so this is what we're working with from what i can tell you have two bolts over here that you need to take out pretty rusted out i'm worried about these two I think we need to take these two out as well. Um, and then these two right here. Uh, and I think that's all that's holding it. I don't know if I should jack up this engine. Um, I've seen a lot of videos where they, they really just didn't jack up the engine. So play with it, um, see how it goes. I mean, this looks like it's just holding on to the catalytic converter. So these guys are the ones that are holding the actual engine well, transmission in this case, or whatever this is, to the subframe, which is right here. So we'll start unbolting things and see how it goes. I'll start with the, the ones that I'm really worried about, which is up here. I think these are, looks like they're 13. So it doesn't look like they're, they're stuck there. Pretty easy to take out. So. Use a regular ratchet. So as far as I can tell, this car is pretty uh pretty much stock. This thing is so rusty that uh, I grabbed my safety glasses and I'm gloved up to 61st, I guess. And I got an impact to make our lives easier. Not sure why the impact wasn't biting, but um, I'm sure it would have come off. Looks like that one's not budging. Probably good to do the other one then. By the way, looks like these are all uh, 13 mils, so yeah, single socket for all of them. So we got this piece off. Oh, and we have, huh. 
Looks like we have another piece. Now they're not holding it. I wonder if that's a 13 mil too. double-sided stud in here. Um, I don't know if that was supposed to do that. Maybe I should have been using the impact for it. Um, it's fine. It came out pretty clean, so I think we're good to put it back in. I guess we're gonna go for the ratchet. <laughs> it's not obvious. I don't work on Fiestas too much. I don't really know anything about these cars, but so far they're pretty easy to work on. I just fixed a leak in the trunk and to do that, I had to take out the tail lights and they were held on by two bolts. Um, they were held on by the trunk lid, so it's not like the tail light's gonna come off, but two bolts just to take out the tail lights. Um, just like this one, it's pretty easy, and there you go, motor mounts are out. Pretty easy. Um, the one thing is, since I got the whoosh uh, motor mount, I have to take this piece off and put it on the new one, so let's get out from under the car and then swap it out and then install the new piece. They say you can just hammer this out. We'll see how that goes. We got OEM. I'm not gonna lie, it looks fine. Man, I was really hoping this was a damaged one and that I just need to, to replace this one and I won't have that issue, but we'll see if this is stiff enough to even hold the car, prevent it from, uh, from rattling. I probably need to replace the passenger motor mount, but that's what they look like side to side. You know, nice and new and shiny. I'd hate to honestly use those uh, rusty nuts on them, but the piece that we're taking off is this black one. So let's try and knock that out. So I have a vice grip here, attach the motor mount. Um, this is, the piece is still here. Uh, I'm gonna try and step on this and hammer it out. There we go. Got motor mount. We have, I think it goes this way. You know, we'll figure it out. Um, can't be that hard to figure out. Cool. That part is done. It goes this way. There we go. This goes here. Cool. So just like that. So, um, I'm gonna try and install it backwards. So I'll, I'll start with this guy. This piece goes to the subframe. You know what, I'm not sure which one goes to what. I think I watched a video where they said the longer one goes into the back here. Hopefully, all right. You know what? You're wrong. The short one goes into the back, long one goes into the front. That's fun. Well, at least it's good to know that um, you can't really mess this up. As for torque, um, I did a quick Google search and it looks like this bolt, this bolt, this bolt, and this bolt are all uh, 70 newton meter, um, which is 51 foot pounds when I looked into it. Um, and then these two right here are only 24 newton meter, which is 17 foot pound. Be careful, don't do 51 on them. Um, because you could break it, so. Okay, so, I have it set to 51 foot pound. Hi. 
It's already six. I'm almost done. I have like two bolts left. So those two are gonna be at 17 foot pounds. Be careful if you're not used to using a torque wrench. 17 foot pounds isn't that much. It's almost just hand tight. You could mess it up if you just kind of went after. No, you're not supposed to, but I'm gonna use an extension of this one just because it's really long. I'm not entirely sure what torque spec these two are, but I feel like if it's just holding the exhaust, I mean, it should just be the same torque spec as this one, which is 17 foot pounds, because the bolt inside it is already torqued to whatever that was, uh, 71 foot pounds. So I'm just gonna do 17 foot pounds for these guys too. And then we'll call it a day. I'm not gonna record me reacting to the difference between the stock and <laughs> this, uh, the OEM motor mount, um, or the OEM versus the, the Wush motor mount. I mean, it's not like you guys will be able to tell the difference in the video. I did this because my engine was hitting the firewall. So if it stops doing that, then I'm pretty much all set. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. All torqued down, all bolted up, all done. There goes our whoosh motor mount, rear motor mount specifically, um, on the car fully installed. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to comment below. If anything, please like, subscribe. I do appreciate it. Um, as much as I'd say that I'm only doing this to learn how to edit videos, why not, you know, why not try? Cool, see you guys.